like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. When it's take a swim, only option is to win. Welcome to the post show wrap up video for the Seattle shrimp tank. We had an Absolutely fantastic interview. I think as we always do, Dan, with the guests that we have, uh, with Michelle Doyle of MD Design Group. And, and we're really crowing about it. Yes. <laughs> and I just want to make sure to all of our uh, listening and viewing audience who watch these videos that Dan is a man of his word. It's one of the uh, great reasons that I love having him as a co-host because he made good on his bet uh, on providing me a cookie because Army did beat Navy. Uh, and one of the things that we want to make sure is that you understand that he is a man of his word. And if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about with regard to this bet, that's a great reason for you to be watching all of our videos and tuning into all of our podcasts. And, of course, you can subscribe on iTunes so you never miss another episode. Let's just say I'll be eating crow at the end of this video. Very good. So our guest for uh, today was Michelle Doyle of MD Design Group, and we had, again, a lot more to cover than what we're going to cover in this video. But Michelle, I want to ask you a question, and that really was, tell us a little bit about the fact that when you decided to leave corporate America and go in and add it at your own in an entirely different career path, you really had a choice, and that choice was you could you know, go get a job doing something that you were passionate about or go out on your own and, and follow that dream. Could you share a little bit about that with us? Yeah, sure. When I was um, attending school um, to learn how to do interior design, um, a lot of my instructors and my career counselor had encouraged me to not go get a job uh, selling furniture for $15 an hour plus commission and felt that uh, I really needed to start my own business with my corporate background um, combined with what they saw as design skills. They felt that I would be successful at it. And so um, after consulting with my husband and making sure he was on board with it, um, I decided to uh, take a leap of faith. And that's exactly how I ended up here. Well, one of the things, Michelle, that fascinates me about that leap of faith is you started it in a completely new location. You were brand new to the city. You were brand new to being a small business owner, and you were brand new to the industry. Talk a little bit about that leap of entrepreneur faith. That just sounded like the trifecta of no-nos. <laughs> well, <that's right>. um, <laughs> everything you shouldn't do when you're starting your own business. Yes, yeah, so I'd lived in Chicago my whole life and moved out here in 2004. Went back to school in 2005. Um, er earned my um, certificate in interior design and then decided to run a, open my own business where I didn't know anybody. And I think that, um, you know, the thing that you have to do is put yourself out there and um, get out and meet people in in and around your industry. So other interior designers, general contractors, flooring companies, installers, and just get to know them and start to develop, to develop that relationship because people do business with people, right? So that was uh, something I had to do, and it was hard for me because I'm not um, not normally that I'm outgoing, but not with complete and utter strength. But even as an extrovert, it yeah. takes a little extra it does. effort. Yes, absolutely. So, Michelle, one of the things that caught me uh, is particularly interesting, uh, and I never put a lot of thought into it, but uh, for somebody who was used to working on teams, working in a big company, going out on your own as an entrepreneur, and I love the word that you use because you use the, the term solopreneur. For those individuals who might be fearful that making that leap means I'm not only making that leap, but I'm going to do it alone and I'm going to be alone, um, what are some of the things that you did to, to overcome that? Yeah, so uh, first of all, um, as I said earlier, you do want to maybe get out and meet people in your circle or your sphere of influence um, and, you know, work with a bookkeeper, work with an accountant, um, join some kind of a, a networking group, the chamber, and also associate yourself with other professionals in your industry. Um, but th probably one of the biggest things that I did, um, other than work. Well, I created collaborative relationships with the people I ultimately did end up doing business with, either as a supplier, a, an installer, or a client. But the other thing I did was I just moved out of my home and into an office where I shared a space with other professionals who weren't in the same industry as me, but um, also didn't want to be alone all the, all the time. And, and that made a huge difference, and it made me feel like I was there. I had a shingle somewhere. 
Great. Well, Michelle, again, uh, we really want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be our guest on uh, The Shrimp Tank. How can people get in touch with you if they want to learn more about what you do or, or actually contract you to, to do work for them? So you can go to my website. It's michelleinteriors.com right now. And uh, my name is spelled M-I-C-H-E-L-E and then interiors.com. Or you can call me at 360-689-4156. So once again, on behalf of... Uh, well, Brad, uh, I just want to say, <laughs> I, I am so happy Michelle was here. She's never seen me eat crow. I'm going to let you take it out while I take a little bite of crow. Oh, very good. So uh, again, Michelle, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Be sure to catch uh, the entire replay of our uh, podcast by uh, listening to it at the link below. Also, you can... Uh, uh, push like if you liked it, and b don't forget to subscribe uh, via iTunes so you never miss another podcast. On behalf of myself and Dan Whedon and executive producer Amber Evans Pinnell, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We will see you at our new time and our new day in 2017. Until then, have a fantastic year end of our 2016. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank.